Bandwagons, they're all around us. They're the ones who plead they are not, in fact, bandwagons when they've recently become a fan of a new and usually better team than their previous liking. And in some cases, that guy that wears a Tom Brady jersey and a Seahawks hat? I I, I've witnessed it, believe me. These are five of some, emphasis on some, of the biggest bandwagon fan bases in sports, and well, maybe we can find out why these fan bases are all so unloyal? Before y'all call me a bandwagon, I can happily say I'm not a bandwagon myself. Nobody wants to be a Toronto fan outside of Canada. It's like being an atheist your whole life but you can't say anything because your parents bring you to church every Sunday. The Miami Heat has, or had, one of the most unloyal NBA bandwagon fan bases of the decade. In 2010, we saw LeBron and Chris Bosh joining Dwayne Wade, almost an equivalent to the lineup the Cavs had in 2016, but now two out of the three have been overshadowed by what slash who became better than the entire Eastern Conference for the past four years. Next up is the Yankees. Of course, you saw this one coming. They really need no introduction. They have the most series wins by a long shot, they have seen some of the best talents in baseball bring them victories, and although their fan base is full of bandwagoners, they also have enemies, a lot of enemies, making them also one of the most hated teams in Major League Baseball, especially by these guys. I don't know a whole lot about the Premier League since I'm not from the UK, but I think most people agree that Manchester United is the most widely known team in North America, but why? Because they're the team with the best history, of course. What other reason is there to bandwagon? For all of us who don't watch, we have our reasons to not watch, like how uneventful soccer is, the fake injuries, uh, and people biting each other in the dick. But Manchester United is basically the only Premier League team advertised on this continent, thus confirming they are successfully generating more and more bandwagoners on North American soils to watch their joke of a sport and then continue promoting their team like YouTubers promote their merch hats in description to earn them more fuckloads of money from unloyal fans and then conquer the world with an army of floating baby trumps for shits and grins. Damn, I should have my own conspiracy show. The Seahawks bandwagon I'll never quite understand. I really only know they exist because of Russell Wilson. Kind of like how Cleveland as a whole is only known to exist due to LeBron. Seriously, what is the big deal with Seattle? All you diehard fans are probably going to give me shit in the comments. And, uh, good for you. It surely can't be as bad as the feedback it was for the 49ers video. Just ask yourself about how much emptier the stadium would be if Russell Wilson wasn't there. And before we get to the number one slot, let's give some honorable mentions to basically every Boston team and wherever LeBron goes in his career. I bet we'll be seeing some kids wearing a fucking I promise shirts very soon just because. And our final slot for worst bandwagoners is the Vegas Golden Knights fan base. I apologize, but I feel like every person in the fucking arena supporting them is guilty of bandwagoning. Sure, they had a good year, but trust me, if they had won the Stanley Cup final this year, then basically half the fan bases of every team would magically become Vegas fans, which I'm not complaining about. I, I think we're fine losing a bit, or hell, even our entire fan base to the Knights, may then maybe I can enjoy some hockey in my hometown again. Well, that was the video. This probably triggered a ton of people. In fact, maybe we'll beat Reg's record of hate. So if one of you could leave a fat like so it boosts my self-esteem during what will probably be a difficult next few weeks for me, that would be fantastic. Also, make sure you check our hats in the description and follow our social medias also in the description. Also, to my friend who's now a Vegas fan out of nowhere, uh, fucking bandwagon. I call the shots, I run the balls, I'm Michael Jordan. Hit it with a little bit of push and a little bit of pull when a goddamn mic recording. I bring the heat, I rep the east, I'm like the cells. I don't even know what to do with the gold that I get, bitch. I'm Michael Phelps. I'm like LeBron, I get the gold, I'm Sherry Khan, yo, Kerry Bronze. I'm Randy Moss, I'm Harry Khan. My game on Royce, I'm Barry Bonds.